Hey guys, very short video, uh, but I want you to meet Seth MacFarlane, now known as Instagram user. Hello, finish, he says early this morning. So do you know that every follower you have in this account is a fake account, right? And one is a scam account. So I'm sorry, but I'll need proof that I'm speaking with the real person. Thanks, which the Muppet love hearts. And that's because I checked out his 30 odd followers. Every single one was a fake <laughs> account um, and every single one was West African. There was one that was maybe legit, but it was definitely a scam account. It was a crypto account. I had about 250 posts and it was all nonsense. Okay, dear, says my Seth, giving himself away immediately. And in response to me asking him for some uh, proof, what would be my gain from taking another man's identity? Another's man identity. I'm way too big for that. <laughs> what would be my gain from taking another's man identity? I'm way too big for that. Sorry. I said, I can think of many. So please provide proof, as you said you do. Thanks. Which the Muppet love hearts. I said, no, nothing. Okay, good luck with this then and this dodgy profile. I'm sure you'll get plenty of clients. Oops, I mean fans. Because he'd gone away. I really have nothing to prove to you, he said, and I know so many people are impersonating me, but it makes me so sad, and the fans, her not helping, they choose to communicate with scammers. People do this to get my attention, and I would have sent you a voice note, but it's not safe, so I really uh, hope you can help me block and report them. My management are trying their best, but it seems their best is not working. I really have nothing to say more than this. And I think he legit, because he went away for a while, I think he was trying to get a voice note together, but I think his phone's shit. I said, okay then, like I said, good luck with getting clients, I mean fans, to respond. Have a nice night over there, because it's in the evening in Nigeria, which he love hearts. Okay, bye, he said. I think talking to fans is a bad idea. I should have listened, bro, my management, whatever that meant. I said, you muggles are getting worse and worse and lazier and lazier. You have to work for your remittance and you're not willing to do that. And in response to, I think, talking to fans is a bad idea, I said, your English is not good enough for this dude. Give it up. To which he says, lol, some people haven't heard of autocorrect. I said, yes, because autocorrect just works that way. I said, nah, I can tell by your vernacular and writing style that you're not American. Like I said, you new bunch are just lazy and you'll never get remittance if you're not willing to put in the work. And if you keep using the same bullshit nonsense your mates do, make better choices with your life, or more, which he then love-hearted. I'm only doing this because I have no money. I so poor no job. He gives up immediately. I said, lying and stealing is not the way. $50 can help me start up a little business he tries. And in response to lying and stealing, not being away, he goes, but no job. This is plan B, the confession, and don't fall for these guys. I said, then work for it. I said, there are jobs in Nigeria. You guys just don't want to work. And in response to then work for it, I do and I can't find any, he says, which he 100% is not looking for work. I said, try labouring. Try asking people if they want something cleaned. But lying to people and then stealing their money is not right. You hurt real people. Who told I'm from Nigeria? No, the government embezzle all the money. Help me, please. I'll stop for life. Things are so expensive here. If it gets too much, I will unalive myself. I said, I think you're Nigerian. I think you're one of the followers in this profile. And completely proving me right, he then love hearts that. I think he's the one who had the crypto profile, which he's now obviously taken this account down. And in response to help me, please, I'll stop for life and things are expensive. I said, you know that people have killed themselves because of scammers. Do you know that? And one payment is never enough. You always ask for more and more. It never stops. It's all a scam. The confession, the begging, it's all a scam. You'll tell me your parents are dead now and you haven't eaten in days. It's never $50 and you'll stop. That doesn't make sense. You know that it costs like $12 for a hamburger here and $70 for smokes. I just want to show him that it's expensive everywhere, right? And in response to, you know, that people have killed themselves because it never stops, he goes, after that, you can block me, please. Like that would stop him from hitting me up again. 
And in response to knowing that, you know, hamburgers are $12 and we actually pay 70 bucks for a packet of cigarettes in Australia, he goes, I don't smoke because he's not really reading or comprehending. I said, you're not listening to me. I'm telling you that if I were to give you money, you'd not stop scamming. You guys never do. I know how popular scammers are over there, how you guys brag about it on social media, about your muggles who send money. You think I haven't heard it all before? To which he responds, that's the point. No one is willing to help. I said, and I meant that it's expensive everywhere. So I have to do this, he said. And in response to that's the point, no one is willing to help. I said, are you asking the right way or are you lying? And in response to, and I meant that it's expensive everywhere, he says, no, please, I'm asking the right way, said my scammer who had approached me with Seth MacFarlane's bloody profile. I said, did you start a GoFundMe? Did you start a YouTube channel? To which he says, lol, I'm using a very small phone. It hangs a lot. I said, no, if I hadn't called you out, you would have continued to lie to me and steal from me. You're only sorry because you got caught. To which he says, yes, but I thought asking us he best. So I gave in. $50, I promised to stop. Right? Uh, I'm sure people have actually sent him stuff because of that. I said, I had another one like you yesterday begging me for 25 bucks. He made up all kinds of lies and then finally admitted that if, I, uh, if I'd sent the money, he would have kept hitting me up for more under different profiles. You guys are never telling the truth. To which he says, but I am asking nicely, please. Completely indignant that I just wasn't going, oh, okay, you have my money. I said, I'm not sending you money. And in response to you guys are never telling the truth, he goes, this is he point, were treated like slaves by I have to continue now. And in response to, but I'm asking nicely, please, I said, and I'm not being nasty, I'm just saying. To which he sends a love heart. Okay. And then I saw the comment about slaves. I said, laughing emojis. I said, now we get to the bullshit. I said, dude, I'm finished. We never had slaves. And in response to, and I'm not being nasty, I'm just saying, he goes, yes, you're not willing to help, so I have to continue, meaning continue scamming. I said, so don't put that on me, we'd cross post it. And in response to, we have to continue, I said, good luck, God will judge you. Please help me, he said. I said, and I'm sure your mother is very proud, to which this absolute cretin of a human being went, lol. I said, you give your country and people a bad name. Good luck getting clients. And I can guarantee you that if someone sends you money, you'll never stop because it'll just give you a taste for more. It's awful. You had a chance to help, but this is why we do it human, her, heartless. Whatever that was. They have, but are never willing to give. I wonder why. Scammers listening. I wonder why we're not willing to give. So as it says, the liar and thief in response to being called a human, her, heartless. I said, you didn't approach me as yourself, remember? Your father, came the response. I said, so I can't believe you at all now, which the idiot love hearted. And in response to your father, I said, there he is, the typical scammer. Knew you'd show your true self. And in response to, so I can't believe you at all now, he goes, your pala, whatever that is. I guess I'll Google that. And knew you'd show your true self. He goes, yes, you too. Because apparently I'm the evil one for not sending him money. I said, if you'd messaged me as yourself, it might have been different. But you lied. So what do you expect? Charity? To which he then sends me a lovely curse. <laughs> I cursed you with charm, he said. I said, right back at you, you serious goat. To which he went, LOL, joke. So what's up? How's you kids and fam? Hoping to distract me so I'd become friends with him. And in response to I cursed you with charm, I said, you idiot. If you'd come to me as yourself, it might have been different, but you lied, which no, it wouldn't have been. And in response to joke, I said, you fucked up, mate. Lies, he said. I said, live with it. And in response to lies, I said, well, you'll never know now, will you? Which he love hearts. I said, and judging by the sound of the kids in the background, you're doing fine. 
Just think of the people you hurt when you do this and try not to be greedy. Goodbye. At which point he took his profile down. I refuse to believe that Instagram took it down because they don't work that quickly. Um, or he's just blocked me. So there you go. I've got to go to work now. So a little bit of a morning fun. Seth MacFarlane curses me. <laughs> Have a great day. More videos coming. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Bye.